everyone, and welcome to a Time Shifters podcast, Time Hop Edition. This is Christopher here with Tom, as always. Tom, how are you? Good. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. This time we watched a film from 2024 called Stupid Games. Stupid. This is streaming right now on Momitu exclusively. Directed by Nicholas Wendell and Danny Abraham. Written by Wendell Abraham and Tanner a- Adams. Starring Cass Huckabee, Alyssa Tortomasi, Ashwini Gampul, Gage Robinson, Grant Terzakis, and Sad Rolando. It's probably Sad Rolando, excuse me. Three girls invite three guys over for dinner and a game night. The atmosphere is thick with angst and wishful thinking. As the night wears on, the game takes a dark turn as the group discovers that this game has no do-overs and to lose a life might mean your soul. This is another screener handed to us <laughs> to give us a watch. Huh. I fan, I felt I handed over my soul <laughs> watching this one. Yeah, this was not one of the, uh, you yeah, know, we're always looking for kind of the, the, the gems. Mm-hmm. Overall, this is not one of them. This, I told my wife after watching it, we both watched it together. I was like, you know what? This would make a really great short film. There's a lot in here that if it's condensed into like about a 30 minute time frame, yeah, would have been awesome. It had some interesting ideas, but yes, the the execution was far too long and there were far too many points where if this was a real life scenario, it would have been over like 10 minutes into the dinner cuz everything about the interactions between the characters said this night's done. I'm going home. <laughs> yeah. You're obviously not into this. Uh, you're not in a good mood. I don't want to bother you anymore. Thanks for dinner. <laughs> yeah, like the, the 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 lead female character who is the one that's trying to pull the men into this is the most off-putting toward all three men. Yeah. And, and it's her home. And the girls that her supposedly her friends. Yeah, her friends are even put off by what's going on. And Later in the in the movie, we do get a reveal why they have an issue, but since the men that are showing up for this dinner, everything about it says get out, and, and it's not even get out for the reasons the movie is made. It's get out because everything about the emotional connection says I'm wasting my time here. <laughs> And unfortunately, I feel like that's kind of what the audience is going to feel like watching the film. But yeah, because and it was. It's exactly the impression I got. I'm like, why are you here? I don't want to be here. Why are you? <laughs> yeah, I think there were some elements. And I thought this film, I had, the in the beginning, I thought this film was going to be a lot more clever than it ended up being. Yes. There was like little hints of the, what I thought was going to be coming. There was just little lines here and there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the one, uh, they're at the door, and like, oh, it's just the delivery guy. You have time to put on your face. And I'm like, and that meant something. Yeah. It didn't mean anything. No, <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> they start talking about stories about, you know, some historical woman, this and that. And I'm thinking, oh, that's going somewhere. Yeah. It, no. doesn't, it doesn't go it anywhere. Doesn't. <laughs> uh, I thought maybe these three girls have been playing this game for centuries or something and they have to keep bringing in these souls to for whatever reason and no it's only been like maybe a week <laughs> or something <laughs> well Just, yeah well and, and, while you're on that track uh there there's the there's the third guy they they had a guy that was supposed to come he was even expected by the girls mm-hmm but he's not available for whatever reason that I've totally forgotten. He just texts and says he can't make it. Yeah, yeah so so he's not going to be there. So they, they literally pick up a guy that they don't even really know. Yeah, the handyman, but, the super at the building. Right? Yeah, and, and when he gets to the dinner, he act, aside from being a little awkward, uh, he's actually interesting. He's kind of charming. Mm-hmm. And he seems to have his head together better than everybody else in the room. And you think, he's the one that's going to save everybody from whatever the heck's going on. And no, that doesn't happen either. (laughs) And the worst part is, is that the film ends and they kind of do this thing and the sort of like coda at the film. And you're like, why in the world did that happen? Right. Yeah. (laughs) 
No, and for some reason we had to have the the delivery guy back, and and that was incredibly awkward at that stage. Right. <laughs> but I mean, this is with a name like Stupid Games, you almost expect some weird comedy or something like that. Right, and, and, and I, I was actually intrigued because they. They did the whole thing, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's the, that's the catch mm-hmm. for this thing. And I'm like, okay, you can have a lot of fun with that. We didn't. No. <laughs> no. And we get to watch these six people play a game in real time. Mm-hmm. I mean, for like a good 20 minutes of this movie, at least, is them just playing this board game, this right. made up board game yeah. that is not, no real effort went into oh you roll the dice you move this far and you pick a card i mean that's right. that's literally this game there's, right yeah there's no there's no rhyme or reason that it's not even clear what your your objective in this game is no no <laughs> uh, the game was invented for the movie sure. it's not a real game no and uh yeah that gets really old really quick there had to have been a way to sort of truncate that somehow. No, and then the 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 weird questions that were on the cards and all that. It was just, eh. I they they had an idea. It didn't seem to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So unfortunately, um, I can't really recommend stupid games. I like, like I said, I think there's some really great elements in there. I think there's ideas that could be fleshed out. And even the story as it's told would have been great in a much shorter format. This just doesn't work as the feature film. No, and even on some independent and low-budget films that we watch where there's definitely room for improvement, you still look for for that one thing to hang it on. But, like, these these people are not... They're not that attractive to pull you in. They're not that adept at acting to most of it's wooden or just yelling at each other or or and the circumstance is so bizarre that it, it just takes you out of it you're like i don't picture a scenario where this just even unfolds uh, supernatural element aside um the just the dinner party itself is so off-putting that you're like hey no one would subject themselves to this and stay <laughs> i think the actor's put in a lot of effort yes but what they were putting their effort into just it wasn't worthy of that effort no i mean yeah the 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 script was weak direction was possibly weak too yeah it needs more work those are my notes (laughs) (laughs) uh but if you do go and check out stupid games on momitu Please let us know what you thought of it. Uh, send us an email at timeshifterspodcast at gmail.com or follow the link in the show notes to all the social media sites. We'll be back soon with a full episode. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye. See ya. See ya.